Local agencies like the Salvation Army are making their last minute preparations in the event of an emergency like a hurricane or a big storm coming here to the coastal bend. As you can see behind me, they're also making sure they have enough food to feed everybody. Every year, the Salvation Army is make sure that we have supplies that are ready, and we also make sure we have volunteers ready. And Captain Patrick T. Gessner with the Salvation Army of the Coastal Bend says they're also fueling up their disaster relief vehicle, which is equipped with a full kitchen. In the event of a hurricane that knocks out power for the area, we can actually cook meals on that truck. The Salvation Army works closely with the Corpus Christi Emergency Operations Center and the Nueces County Emergency Management Department, which is headed by County Judge Barbara Canales. They're all familiar with preparing for a hurricane, but plans are a little different this year because of COVID-19. The county will now change the way it transports people to the Richard Borchard Fairgrounds, which will serve the community's elderly and disabled. But this time around, they'll limit the number of people taken in each bus. Normally, our intake, you know, doesn't accommodate for social distancing, but we can change those operation plans and we have. Having safe practices in place, they'll organize people at the fairgrounds and find them a safe place to stay. But another thing the judge has to consider. What about those that are quarantining in their home right now? How would we handle that? The judge says she is reaching out to nearby counties to see if they can help take in a COVID-19 patients. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Ashley Portillo, Chris 6 News.